These are the rarest items in Rec Room. First, we got this version of the baseball jersey. It's very similar to another version of this shirt without the white stripes, but they are not the same shirt, and it is unknown why you cannot get this anymore. Next, we got the class of shirts, the rarest one being the 2016 version, which you got if you played in 2016. Now, if we're including contest items on this list, I could probably put every single one, but for the sake of time and not saying the same thing over and over again about each one, I'm only going to include one item. And that item is the first place prize for the Mad Science Contest, being a custom color of any item that the teams chose and the item that they chose was a gold and white royal cape. Anyway, the next item are these ice hockey shirts, which came in four colors. And alongside these are these dresses that came in three colors. Now again, there wasn't exactly a clear reason as to why you're no longer able to obtain these, but if I had to guess, it's probably because they both have these sleeves that no other shirt has. This next item has a little bit of controversy behind it. It's called the Helix VR shirt. Now I'm assuming most of you know about this already, considering one of my most viewed videos is literally about this shirt. But if you don't already know, this was given out to all the staff a part of the Helix VR YouTube channel. And then one of the leaders said some very inappropriate things to a minor and the shirt was taken from basically everyone that had it. And alongside that, some of the people are part of the Helix VR group were banned. Some people still do technically have it equipped, but according to Star Centurion, if they ever log back onto Rec Room again, the shirt will be replaced with something else. But what about shirts that were just never released? Enter the first year shirt. This shirt was supposed to be released during Rec Room's first anniversary, but it just never happened, meaning only staff members and hackers on this shirt. Back to items you could actually obtain. The next items are from the raw data set, which I think everyone knows about by now, but if you don't, these are collab items for a game known as raw data. You can get these back in 2016. Now, if we're talking about items that you can still get to this day, there are a few sets of items that are notable. First, we got these gold items, which can be obtained by being a partnered creator on Rec Room and cashing out a certain amount of tokens. Then there are these, which you can get until April of 2023 by earning a certain amount of tokens. There's also the video partner items, which can be obtained by being a verified video partner having a certain amount of people support you in rec room there's also the white hat which i don't think you can actually get anymore but you were able to get it by reporting multiple game breaking bugs or lines of code that could have been used to hack now back to items that i know you cannot get anymore next is the sfvrc t-shirt now i've heard so many supposed ways that you were able to get this shirt so i'm not entirely 100 percent sure on how you were able to get it but from what i can tell it was either from meeting a developer in person going to the san francisco vr convention in 2017 or just straight up logging in on a certain day in 2017 Speaking Speaking of 2017, in November of 2017, there was an alpha for laser tag released for a limited time, and if you played it, you obtained the laser tag alpha team shirt. But what about items that you could have purchased for tokens? Enter the golden headphones. This item was in the store for 8,000 tokens in July of 2019. The catch being that they were only in the store for an hour, so you only had a limited time to buy it. There's also the Bride of Frank hair, which released in 2018 on Halloween, and it hasn't released since then. Then there's the sci-fi bucket, which you can still get in the laser tag shop, but it'll cost you 100,000 tickets to purchase, so it'll definitely take a while before you get this item. Speaking of skins, there's the Ghost Bow, which was in the weekly challenge all the way back in 2017, and it hasn't released since then. That being said, they have been recently bringing back some skins in the store, so I expect them to re-release this for tokens soon. Anyway, that's all the rare skins that I'm going to be talking about today, so if you like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and check out the other videos that I make. And with that, I'll see y'all later.